Hello YouTube, it's Rob the Tech Quiz here and I'm going to be doing a quick follow up video on my gingerbread to ice cream sandwich using Go Launcher um, video that I put up a few weeks ago. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on it so I appreciate that and uh, I've also gotten a lot of questions in the comments which I'm going to try to answer right now. Um, so first off, Lightwings95 asked, if you turn the phone off when you turn it back on do you find instantly the ice cream sandwich interface? So yes, when you turn the phone off and turn it back on, Go Launcher X should still be running with the ice cream sandwich theme as well as Go Locker and, and everything else. So second question, can I get Roboto 4.0 for texting and other apps also? Um, likely not. When What I showed you in the other video um, with the font where you go into the preferences and change the font to the Roboto, the only thing that changes is the is the Go Launcher font uh, that the the fonts that that uh, application uses. So it'll be the the fonts where under the applications and in the the preferences menu in here. Because if you go to the the phone setting menu, you'll notice that it's not the Roboto setting. So um, any in-app fonts won't change um, unless. I can't do it on my phone if I don't know if for whatever reason your phone's different, but under display, screen display, and font style, uh, for my phone I have the Galaxy S2 Skyrocket again from AT&T. Um, these are my only options here. Um, even if I get fonts online, uh, nothing that I found has the, has the Roboto font on it, um, so you will likely not be able to do that. Um, so you'll just have to... Uh, make the best out of the Roboto and the Go Launcher if if that's what you like. Okay, next question comes from Jacob Cantu one He said, very thorough video. I had everything except the font. How did you get your phone to go quicker? It seemed zippy. Okay, a lot of people have commented that my phone uh, seemed fast and they've been asking what I did to make it go faster. I didn't do anything. Uh, I've, I'm usually around a pretty uh, fast Wi-Fi speed when I make these videos. So other than that, I don't know, I didn't really do anything to make it go faster. Um, but as far as the font goes, uh, the font that I showed you in the other video, I believe, I forget what it was called, but it was by QB Head. Um, for whatever reason, they're no longer in the store, or they changed their name, so it's not there. But if you go to the store, and instead of what I showed you in the other video, if you just search Roboto fonts, if I can spell it. It's hard to type and look at the camera at the same time. If you search Roboto font, um, this first one that comes up here, fonts by B Whale. Um, if you get that one, that'll work just fine. Okay, and next question comes from the Robert Gerard. Um, he said, "Pretty good video. The only thing that I think you missed were widgets, like the Google search widget of ICS, and I'm looking for it, but I can't find it. I think the rest of the things were pretty good." Okay, um, this here is my best option that I found for the Google search widget um, in ICS. It's just called Custom ICS Search. If you go to the Play Store, search Custom oops, ICS Search. Um, it should be this first one here. If you get that and install it, um, you'll, it'll look like this, but when you go into it, it still takes you into the to the gingerbread search. Um, so it's not exactly like the ice cream sandwich one, but it looks the same. So if you hold and add it, um, here you can um, change how it looks. You can change the color of it and everything like that. I usually turn down the transparency, which is this bar down here. Um, you can see it makes it look a little bit more transparent and not as bold face white. Um, I think that looks a little nicer, so you can give that a try and see if you like that. Okay, um, as far as the other widgets go, um, the I found a, an app that I liked. Um, it's not free, it's still cheap. I think it was a dollar and 31 cents. It's ICS Go Widget Theme. By Connie, this first one here. Like I said, I think it. I think it's just a dollar thirty-one or something like that. 
So if you get that, if you choose to buy that and install it, I'll show you what it can do. Um, here's a quick thing. If you have the Go SMS Pro, um, you can um, get the the Go widget for it to, and apply the ice cream sandwich theme using the, the ICS Go widget theme that I just showed you how to download. Um, to give you this, it's an ice cream sandwich-esque uh, flip through your texts. And um, here is the ICS or the um, go switch with the ice ice cream sandwich theme attached to it and what you'll need to do to be able to apply um, the the ice cream sandwich go widget theme is you'll first need the go widget itself the stock one so if you go to your widgets and go to go widget and scroll over and find whichever widget you want um, I'll show you the example with calendar. I haven't downloaded that yet. So if you hit on if you hit calendar, it'll take you to the um, to the Go store where you'll first need to download the Go widget itself. So go ahead and do that. They should all be free. Come on. Okay. So if we go back and now we try to add it. Okay. Now when it comes up you're going to see this. And the default down here is going to be just the stock Go widget itself. So if you hit the default and change it to ICS, it'll change it to the ice cream sandwich Go widget theme that you paid for. So if you add that to the screen, um, you can change the settings, some settings here if you choose. Um, it'll look like this and have a nice little ice cream sandwich theme to it which I actually like, I use this a lot because you can flip through the calendar and, and whatnot. You can view your agenda um, in a separate view other than the calendar. Like here's my work schedule. Yes, I work at a library. Okay, final video, or final question comes from the legendary Finn. He said, very good video, thanks a lot. Would it be possible to make a video in which you delete the Go Launcher and switch back to TW Launcher? And also all the plugins like the Go Locker and the themes. I've heard that you can mess things up somehow if you don't do it the right way. Okay, I've never heard that. Um, if you want, you can just go ahead and uninstall um, the Go Launcher X and Go Locker and everything like that. And then when you hit your home key, it, it might ask you again to set the default. So if you just set the default to the TW Launcher, it should it should uh, clear things up for you and take it back to how the phone was when you got it. Um, if you're if you're not comfortable doing that, if you go to settings, your phone settings, applications, manage applications, and you scroll down and find Go Launcher X, and then if you go down to clear defaults right here, if you hit that and then hit the home key again, it'll ask you to choose the default launcher. So if you want to set the default back to TW Launcher this way and then uninstall um, the Go Launcher if you feel more comfortable doing it that way um, that's fine but if you just go ahead and uninstall it and then set the default to TW Launcher you should be fine that way so whichever way you choose okay that about wraps it up uh, if you keep leaving questions in the comments I'll try to make another follow-up video however if you you may have noticed that um, when I was showing you the Go SMS um, ice cream ICS Go widget theme uh, I got a text earlier today from AT&T that the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket um, just got the ice cream sandwich uh, 4.0 update. So um, I'll likely make a video on how to how to install that on your phone. Um, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching, guys.